BoomTouch is advertised as a wireless speaker that works by simply placing your phone onto the device. But does it really work? That's what I'm going to find out in this review of BoomTouch. All right, I got my Boom Touch here, and I've got a few different uh, things I'm going to use to demonstrate Boom Touch. I'm going to try it with an auxiliary cord versus the, the phone. I'm going to use a phone without a case. I'm going to use a phone with a case. I'm going to compare it against a regular Bluetooth speaker, and we'll just kind of see how this Boom Touch kind of compares and how it works. All right, first up, we're going to use a phone without a case. This is an iPhone 7 uh, Plus, and Let's see what happens. Keep it in mind from the instructions. You need to keep the speaker of your phone uh, in this area. So as you see, you kind of have to move it around a little bit to get in the right spot. Uh, your speaker really has to be in that area. It's kind of touchy. Uh, the quality, it's not terrible. Keep in mind, it's not in stereo. There's one speaker. And the high end is kind of lacking, but it does boost sound. Now, that's, um, that's an iPhone 7 Plus without a case. Let's try an iPhone 6S Plus with a case. It does work with the case. It sounds a little more muffled than without the case. And I'm going to try it now with the auxiliary cable to see if that is better quality than when you just place it on the boom touch. Okay, with the auxiliary cable, it seems clearer. That actually, there's a lot better highs but I have to turn the volume a lot higher. They recommend 50% when you place it on there, but I'm having it up around you know, 75%, but the quality is better and the highs are much clearer, so uh, the auxiliary cable seems better to me. This USB connector, in place of batteries, it doesn't charge batteries, but you can use that so you can play music indefinitely. There are no volume controls. There's no controls at all other than the on-off switch, the audio in and the USB connector. And next up, I'm going to see whether it can actually be used as a speakerphone, which I hadn't thought about before, but let's see how that actually works. Hello. Can you hear me? I can. What, how does it sound? That sounds pretty good. All right, I'm going to take it off of the boom touch and tell me if there's any difference. Okay. All right, taking it off of the boom touch. All right, now it doesn't sound any different. Not much different, no. Okay. Almost exactly the same. It sounds the same to you? Because me, it's much louder when I put it on here. Yeah, for me, it doesn't sound much different. Oh, it's actually too loud now. All right, well, thank you for uh, participating. I thought for sure there'd be some sort of a feedback loop, and he would hear an echo, but it didn't work that way. So actually, you can use Boom Touch as a speakerphone. All right, what I want to try now is to see how it compares with uh, one of these regular Bluetooth uh, speakers, which is kind of a similar design as far as the cylindrical shape goes.
right, so in a side-by-side -side comparison against a Bluetooth speaker like this one, the Bluetooth speaker is much better. There's much crisper highs, mids. It's just a more balanced sound. The boom touch is a bit bottom heavy, a bit muffled on the higher end. It's not terrible, but it's not the best you're gonna hear. It certainly works for what it is. I know that's kind of a lot to take in at once, so what I'm gonna do is recap everything that I've just done. I'm gonna show you the boom touch with a phone without a case, with a case, using the auxiliary cable, and then a separate Bluetooth speaker, and you can compare as it plays how the quality changes from each one of those configurations. <laughs> was originally only available online but it's starting to roll out to stores for about $20. All right I'm at my desk right now I'm gonna put the boom touch on with some music playing and I'm gonna let it play until the batteries die to see how long the batteries actually last. It's it over 10 hours and it's still going. Not sure how long it's gonna last but right now the battery life's looking pretty good. All right, I just had to pause the music because the Boom Touch has been playing for 20 straight hours on the same batteries. I have no idea how much longer it's going to go. Um, I might have to just update the description below to tell you how long it finally lasted because it seems like it's going much longer than I expected. I think that the volume might have something to do with that as well. Um, I've had it kind of at a slightly medium to low volume, but uh, 20 hours on the same three batteries is not bad so far. Sometimes you'll hear static with the boom touch when it's sitting on top of the unit. Um, it seems to happen more between songs or if you're moving it around. Maybe not a big deal, but certainly something that's worth mentioning. When it's plugged in the auxiliary cable, that obviously won't happen. My first impression of Boom Touch when I first put a phone on top of it is that the sound was kind of a bit muffled. It wasn't a very full-bodied sound, but after using the auxiliary cable for a while, the auxiliary cable is actually a far better sound. And not only that, but there's another problem with the Boom Touch is when you have the phone on top of the unit, it's really kind of hard to manipulate your phone or do anything else besides just having it sit there. When you have it plugged in the auxiliary cable, you can also if your music player plays in the background, you can also do things like adjust the volume, check your social media. And if you have a tablet with a auxiliary uh, output, you can use that for the boom touch, which tablets are really too big to fit on there in most cases. So to me, the auxiliary cable is the way to go. It might remove some of the convenience of being able to place on the boom touch, but it actually provides more benefits than not using it. One advantage of boom touch is you don't have to deal with Bluetooth. Of course, Bluetooth is not that difficult these days, so that may or may not be an issue for you. Um, it is convenient to place it on there, but as I said, it's actually better, in my opinion, to use the auxiliary cable because the sound quality is better and it's easier to use your phone while it's plugged in. So overall, Boom Touch is not bad. I, I actually kind of like it when it's plugged in the auxiliary cable. Um, without it, it's, the sound isn't that great, but Probably a good gift idea. The batteries last a nice long time. I'm not even sure how long at this point. It's over 20 hours. Um, I'll figure that out and post it in the description below. But Boom Touch is not bad. Um, I'm not sure it's better than a rechargeable Bluetooth speaker. So overall, I don't think it's that bad. What do you think about Boom Touch? Do you think that it's better than a Bluetooth speaker? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you like this review, please subscribe so I can continue to bring you as seen on TV product reviews in the future. Until next time, this is James White with Freakin' Reviews. Thank you.